Hey everyone! So today, by popular demand, I'm going to show you my face paint setup that I use for parties. Um, I'm going to go over like the general setup and then I'm going to show you some specifics. So to get started, I have my makeup chair. So I don't actually sit in this chair. This is my workspace. I have my back to the parents usually, so that way they can see their kid getting painted, and that way they spend less time a lot of the times like in the chair after they're done getting their pictures taken. They can just take it as they go. That seems to work out pretty good. Um, I also do for certain events that are usually longer than um, a couple hours, I'll do two chairs instead and I'll just move the table, which is great because I have this folding table that I got at uh, Walmart or you can get them at Target. Um, it's got three notches on the bottom. It's about two and a half, three feet uh, long and just a little bit wide. I know some people like to use big four foot tables and that's okay too. They just take longer to close up and set up and they're also heavy. So I like this one because it's light. I can take everything in one trip without a dolly. Um, I also have this fantastic thing that I'm really excited about because I just made it. So this is my brand new face paint board. I used to have one that folded in half. I made it myself. It folded in half and I could carry it and it had this kind of complicated mechanism at the back, but it was looking a little shabby. So I updated it by getting this uh, giant frame from Michael's on sale and I put all my pictures inside of it and then on the back I constructed it. I took a single hinge from Home Depot and I got this board, I spray painted it black and I attached it the hinge so that way you can make it like a sandwich board, it can open and close. I attached this string so that it doesn't open too wide. And then I also added feet so that it doesn't stand in the mud in case it's dirt at the party. And also a piece of Velcro so that way this doesn't flop around when I'm carrying it on my handy dandy handle. This way you can go hands free and carry more things. So, I really like my new board. I'm excited to use it this week. <laughs> All right. Also, the one thing that I can recommend to you that nobody else has probably recommended to you yet, and I haven't mentioned it in my other videos, but you want to take a balloon bag. That's right. You need to learn balloon twisting too if you're going to be a face painter because you can double your income if you know how to do balloon, simple balloon animals or complicated balloon animals, even better. But I have just a small bag that's got all of the necessary colors. I know a lot of designs because I've been doing it for a while, but if you know 10, 20 designs, you can seriously double your income because people will book you for twice as long if you can do an hour of face paint and an hour of balloons. It's super popular and I wish more face painters knew how to do balloons because I book them all the time. So let's get a closer look at my actual paint this time. <laughs> so what you're looking at now is my face painting setup from the perspective of the chair right next to it. Uh, we have, I recently just redid all of this actually, so this is all pretty fresh for me, but I really love it so far. Um, so I went to Michael's and I got these containers, which are fantastic. They're just the right size. They're a little in the beads section and I filled them up with um, these ones. So I buy my paints in these sizes, 45 grams, or there's a smaller size, and I put the whole thing in there. So that way I have more paint. I used to have a small palette that had 12 colors, and it always seemed to be running out really fast, and it was really messy. So each one was like right next to each other. So this way it's fantastic. I really like having all the extra in there and all the colors next to each other. So I have two of these, so now I have 20 colors in my basic palette, including some fancy ones that I really love. These shimmery ones are awesome, and my neons are super cool. So I have, those ones are my standard palette. And then as you can see, because I have the smaller table, everything's a little bit tight for space, but that's okay. We make everything fit, we just slide it on underneath there. This is also brand new. This is my Global Colors Rainbow Palette, which you can buy this and all the other colors that I have and glitters and everything on my favorite site, facepaintforumshop.com. There's a link in the description of this video if you want to check that out and buy some of these. But I love this palette. 
It's got, it came with black and white, so I refilled it with two of my other favorite rainbows that I use. Um, but this one has everything else you need. It's got a rainbow, it's got the red, a green, and a blue, which I think these are the three most important ones. And then also the pink, the red, and the white. That makes everything awesome. So I love this palette. These are really good sizes. They're not the, the, the Party Explosion palette that you can get is um, nice, but it's only like six grams or something, like really small amounts. So it's good for practicing and starting out and seeing if you like it, but this size is nicer because you can they last a little bit longer before you have to refill them. I used to have all of my rainbow cakes like this loose on the table, and that works too. It just takes longer to set up and take down because you have to find the covers for everything, and that's kind of takes too long. So this one, I just close it up and I'm done. And then I have my black and my white. I always use the big ones of those because you need them <laughs> to be big. And that's Wolf Diamond FX. These are Diamond FX. Um, pretty much all of the good brands on Face Paint Form Shop are going to have, they're going to be good for you. But I really like Diamond for my white. I also have these ones by Tag that I got. And I use these two a lot with my sponges, which you can see are right back here. I keep sponges on hand. Now, I just discovered this last week. <laughs> I've been buying the wrong kind of sponges because these ones are where it's at. Oh my gosh, I love these new ones. So this is what I was using before. You can see the difference. This one has big holes and little holes. This one is uniform throughout with little holes. So this gives it a much more airbrushed look once you get all those colors on there because it's not so not so weird like Swiss cheese. So these are both available on Amazon. Uh, you just have to look for the ones that look like this instead of like this because they're pretty much the same price and these are way, way better. So I've been using these. You just cut them into quarters or however big of a size you think you want. And that way you can, like I have one cut here, you can, that one doesn't quite fit all of them. So maybe something a little bigger for one of these cakes, but you know, it's all good. <laughs> I also take these ones and I'll dip them half in one color over here and half in the other, so that way you get a nice duo blend on there. If you want to mix two or three colors just manually, you don't need these big ones for every single color. Um, let's see, we've got our spray thingy, just super cheap little water spritzer. This is full of water. Um, I have two water cups, one of them I use to blow my brushes, one of them's for my water, and they're both contained in this caddy, which you can get at any store like Target. Um, I keep my sponges in the back and my mirrors in there. I try to use a sturdy mirror. This one has been around the block, <laughs> as you can tell. But you want a, a sturdy mirror because some of the really cheap ones from the dollar store, they're going to break on you right away. So I invest like $6 in a mirror and then you won't have to buy one ever again. Um, your hand sanitizer is always good to have around just to show that you're nice and clean and all that. And I use it pretty often uh, when you have anybody who's like sniffling or anything and you're not so sure, you can use your hand sanitizer. Um, the mirrors, baby wipes, Huggies or a thicker brand, the, the, the really cheap dollar store ones will, will work but they definitely don't work as good as something that's a little bit thicker and nicer. <laughs> uh, we also have our glitter. I use mostly my floofers because these are the fastest way to do it. So you just, when you do a full face design, you just evenly distribute the glitter on top of it. But there's also a method that I've started using, uh, the finger dab method. So if you need to be a little bit more specific with where you put your colors of your glitter, I keep them in this little container and I get my finger a little bit wet and then I just dab it in there and then you can tap the color on individual places. So I can make Hello Kitty's bow pink and the rest of it I can make white and you know just keeps it kind of separated and nice and that can add a lot of impact to your designs there. Um, otherwise I just use paper towel underneath here so that way in case I need to dab off my brush or my sponge I have a little bit of space for it or I can move it over a little bit. It helps keep my tablecloth clean as well which I made myself just with some extra fabric from Joann's. Um, yeah, that's pretty much this setup right here. My brushes, I do have a lot of them. I like to keep my favorite brushes that I know I'm going to use right away. I like to just leave those out and then the rest of them as I go, you know, fill them up. 
I have a lot of one inches because I have a lot of rainbow cakes. <laughs> I actually have more than this. This is my consolidated pile. I do have another box full of them in my tote container, which I will show you right now. But first, I'm going to show you this extra picture from the front of my setup and a couple of other setups that I've had in the past. So uh, this is what you were just looking at before from my perspective. This setup that you're looking at is what I had previously. This was for a really big event that I did, um, face painting for a big special event. So I had a lot more room on a big giant table. So this is how I would set it up if I had plenty of room. Um, you can see there's a little fiber sticking out of there and that is a really great idea that's, uh, we call it seed money. So when you start off uh, at a big event where you're able to accept tips, make sure that the client can see like a little hint of a tip there so that they know that it's okay to tip. Um, some people leave out a jar. I like to be a little bit more subtle and just do something like that. It seems to work great. That palette that you see there, uh, I refilled some of the colors in it, but that was a Diamond FX, um, Wolf also sells a brand, of a 12 color palette, and that is really awesome. I definitely recommend that for starting out. It's perfect size. It's awesome. <laughs> All right, and this is pretty much the only things that you need to get started. This, I bought this kit for a friend who was starting out. I wanted to really encourage her. So all this whole thing is around maybe $100, maybe $150, probably less than that though. You just need your Diamond FX 12 color palette that I was just talking about. This is a small party explosion rainbow uh, palette. They're small colors, but it's a really great uh, starting palette for practicing with that. The brush selection, you have um, some one inch flat brushes, some three quarters inch, a couple filberts, and a few liner brushes, as well as your Diamond FX Wolf black and white, and a rainbow cake, a sponge, uh, you need your floofer glitter, your baby wipes, and a spritzer bottle for your sponge. This is the best starting setup that you can get. I really recommend it. All right, finally we have our tote bag, which I love. This is my awesome tote bag, it's so nice. Um, we're, I use this one all the time because it's got handle, which is great, and it's got wheels, so I don't have to heft this thing around with all my heavy paints in it. It's actually, I bought it at Michael's. It was $40 with a coupon, and it's actually for scrapbooking, so you can find it in the scrapbooking section. Uh, I love it because it's got all this space on the inside. That. Yeah, so we put my paper towels in here, extra paper towels. You always want to bring water with you so that you have um, enough just in case you're at a park. You want to make sure that you have everything that you need and you don't need to bother the client for anything. You want to bring your own table, your own chairs, and your own water for sure. There's spare business cards in there, extra Huggies baby wipes. This is my container that I keep my paints and glitters in so I can, they can just slide in there and they don't take up as much space. These are, like I was saying, my extra rainbow cakes for when I need them. I've got refills and different colors, and we'll see which ones I like the best and which ones get replaced from that new palette. Um, we've got this one right here is for my brushes. I keep my brushes in there. I got it from the container store. But anything will work as long as your brush bristle, bristles are protected. If they get mashed around, they are not going to work for you. So this one, I always make sure to keep the bristles upright or angled upright. And it's been good for years, so I haven't had a problem with it uh, breaking my brushes. I like that one. And then also I have my headlamp here, which is a good recommendation for you guys. Just like I said, you want to bring everything you need. So I've had parties that go late at night and they don't have a lamp or any other kind of light set up. So if you want to be able to see what you're doing while you're painting, I recommend keeping one of these nice headlamps around. It's only about $15 from a sporting goods store. And speaking of sporting goods stores, I also, I don't have it here with me right now, but you can get an umbrella at like a big five. It's called a Wondershade umbrella. It's about $35 and it's got its own stand. So it's really nice in case you need some extra shade. If they don't have an umbrella or some shade for you, you can just pop up your little personal umbrella. It's got a handle and carrying bag. I love it. The Wondershade umbrella from big five is awesome. <laughs> I also keep in here gemstones and extra like makeup thing glitter and things like that. Uh, this is a star blend that I use sometimes for, it's instead of a, 
a water-based paint. It's actually a powder, like an eyeshadow, and it's really good coverage. I use a makeup dry makeup brush, and you get really good black coverage on that for like around the eyes. If you have somebody who is not having the sponge around their eyes, or if you want to make a smoother color around there, you can use a star blend. Also available on Face Paint Form Shop. I've just got some extra eyeshadows and lipsticks and glitters and pencils and things like that. I pretty much use that once a year around Halloween when I'm doing some fancy sugar skulls, but I don't use it that often. Otherwise, because my paints do pretty much everything for me. I don't know if they get that close. Oh well. <laughs> I also keep some gemstones and glitter, uh, sequins and things that you put on with eyelash glue. But I don't really use those for parties unless they specifically ask for gemstones because um, it takes a little bit too long. I also keep spare sponges. I keep um, a spare black and white in case you run out. You want to also have a scissors for your sponges so that way you can cut them or have them pre-cut. And you know what? Another good suggestion is bring a snack because sometimes you don't have time to eat in between so you're going to want to have a snack. <laughs> That's pretty much my handy dandy bag here. I've got extra business cards as usual. Some tissues, woo, tissues, in case you need to blow your nose. <laughs> All the necessities that I have learned from many years of face painting. <laughs> Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed my setup video. Um, remember everything that you, well most of the things that you see here, you can buy on facepaintformshop.com, which I have a link to right underneath my video. So I'm not like trying to plug in advertising or anything, that's genuinely where I buy most of my supplies, along with JustPaint.com, Just, like Jester, or SillyFarm.com, that's another one where you can get some really great colors. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more, and I would love to see your setups too, or if you have any other questions about good methods for doing things, so uh, make sure to let me know, and I'll see you next time.